let's consider this numerical and first calculate crash cost slope using delta c by delta t ready this uh, 1900 minus 1400 divided by 2 so your crash cost slope are like this let's prepare the network for this so your network diagram is like this go on writing the time over this a equals to 6 days normal duration you have to write down a equal to 6 days b equals to 8 days d equals c equal, we'll go for forward calculation let number this as 10 20 30 we can start it on the first day so this time equals to 0 day 0 to this one is 6 day and this one is 8 day now we have a multiple arrow here so if you come by this route that is 20 to 40 this will be 6 plus 3 9 and if you come by this one is 8 so this one is 9 that is maximum of 8 and 9 now this this one is one again single arrow so this one is 8 and 6 so this one is 40 and now finally we are coming to the last event so 6 plus 4 is 10 9 plus 10 is 19 14 plus 3 is 17 it means that 19 is the maximum day now we'll go for critical path for finding the critical path how you are getting 19 so are you getting 19 via 40 to 60 40 to 60 is 19 then how you are getting 9 is 9 is you are getting from 20 to 40 so that is the critical path and this one is this path so critical path is A, B, F, ADF and the duration is 19 days. So for 19 days we can calculate the normal cost involved here. So right now total cost is the normal cost 9200 plus project duration is 19 days and the overhead cost is 300 so overhead cost is 300 so ok mark here from 1 to 19 and you start the first activity on 0 and day so mark 1 circle A will take 6 days so below 6 mark 1 circle and 40 will finish up that is D will finish up by 9 day and 60 that is 19 day so this one is your critical path this one is takes 6 days and what is the critical crash activity for this A K L A crash kitna 4 days so in bracket you write down crash then this one is D which normally require 3 days but if you crash it you can complete it by 2 days so bracket is crash this one is F it will take 10 days but if you crash F, you can finish up by 6 day. That is a critical From 0 day, we start with B. So we will take one branch from here. And this B will finish up by 8 day. So you have to mark circle below 8 here. Exactly below 8. And here you have to write down the B. The B will take 8 days and the crash is possible for 5 days from B we can continue with E so from B we will continue with E so first of all this number is what is it 10 this one is 10 this one is 20 is this fine this one is B so this is a dummy activity for this one So this is a hollow line. Now is the another branch start from this? From this 30 is the one branch will go to 40. From 30 will the one branch will go to 40. And is the one branch is going to 50. So that goes to 40 will mix up with F and N. And one branch will start from 30 that equals to what E. And it will finish up by 14 day. So you have to draw one circle on 14 day. G 
this is G or E. E will take six day, and if you crash it, you can finish up by three day. After G, after E, you have to draw G for three days. So three days means fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And therefore, this one is G activity, which take three days, can be crashed for two days. And remaining one is a dotted line. One branch is still left from 20 to 60. So we'll take out that branch. Now actually it's an overlap. So I will use a different code. This is 20. So I start from 20. How many days it take? Four. Right now we are on which day? Six day. So we'll finish up by one what day? Ten. So we have another branch. Now this one is four day. What is this number? A C. This one is C activity. C will take four days. And what is the crash for C? Two days. Now you have to continue this as a dotted line. And for simplicity, you can show like this also. Just to overlap. There is no. They are just overlap. Which one is the critical activity? A, D, F. So first of all, identify A, identify D, and identify F. At the same time, focus on your indirect cost. Your indirect cost is three hundred. So out of these three, you you can select either A or F. But there is no point in selecting six hundred. So either we have a preference for A or preference for F. Let's check out here. We can crash this by one day. If the crash cost for A and F is same. This one is also 250 and this one is also 250. So you will benefit by 50 rupees per day. So we will go for this one. How many days we can crash it? Now check it. 19, 18, 17. Two days. And is it the same provision available here also? It means that you are going to crash this time, this much part. So is this cost involved at this time? Two days. Which activity is crash? F. But can we crash this activity by two day? Yes. We can very well crash it by two day. Because minimum days is six, so maximum you can crash by four day. Right now we'll crash it by two day. First, day. now this one is uh, crash by two day. So this will shift to this side by two days. This will also shift by two days, and this will also shift by two day. And therefore, which was previously sixty is here. Now it will finish upon seventeen. So this arrow will continue. And this arrow will also continue. The rest, there is no changes. One minor change is that instead of ten now, how many days are left? Eight days. The rest, other side, there is no changes. So total cost is equals to normal cost. Normal cost is nine thousand two hundred. And is seventeen days. So this one is seventeen days. And indirect cost is rupees three hundred. And for this one, the crash cost was two fifty. So plus we have crashed it by two day. So two fifty multiplied by two. So this cost come out to be. Now this time the cost is fourteen thousand eight hundred. And the before we are nineteen day, our cost is fourteen thousand nine hundred. So we have saved rupees fifty per day. That is two day we have saved hundred rupees. Now we'll go for the combine. For this bracket, from this to this, you have to concurrently crash A and B, and the total cost will be more than 300. So we'll not going to crash it because the cost will increase. So right now we'll cancel it. Then we'll go for the second possible chance is this bracket. Now this time we have C, D, and we have B and C, and this total cost, that is this cost. That is D plus B plus C exceeds 300, so this is not an economical solution. So we'll forget this part. Then we'll go for this one bracket at this point, one day bracket. At this cost is F and this cost is E and this cost is C, which again exceeds more than 300. So there is no economical solution possible in this bracket. Now from this bracket, from this to this, we have F and E. And that two F and E is it also more than three hundred? 
so that will not give again economical solution and finally we are in the last bracket here this bracket we have f and g has to be crushed concurrently so you have to bear a cost of what f and g f and g is it more than 300 so no further economical solution possible your optimum cost is 14800 and duration is 17